Who is it? In the vlog? Okay. <laughs> you gonna miss me? No? Okay. Well, that's that. Hi everyone, welcome to Stephen's Journal. So it's officially two weeks until I fly and I finished work last night. I had my last shift with everybody. And so recently I've got a lot of questions just about my interview process for the Disney Cultural Representative Program as a returner this time around. So today I thought I would kind of just answer some of the questions about my whole process. I went on YouTube when I found out I was going to have an interview and I found only one video based on this whole sort of interview process and it was from Heather in Canada. I watched that and I found it really really helpful so I thought that it would be good for me to also give my perspective on my interview. It was a little bit different I found in some ways than when I was watching Heather so I think it's good to have like a couple videos just to sort of compare. Um, in that video I watched it said that it was about a five minute interview. Mine actually ended up lasting about 25 minutes. I feel like mine went a lot more in depth. So yeah, I had the interview in March and I went in and I wore a, a shirt and a tie with like a blazer jacket, so basically a suit. It was set up for 5 p.m. in the UK, so 12 p.m. in Florida. And I kind of just waited and Sue calls you through the Blue Jeans website or you can download the app. It is basically like a Skype sort of tool but you just you almost you make an account online and then you sort of sit on a web page and you just wait for Sue to call you and then she hangs up and when she hangs up there's no way of having point of contact so you don't like add her and like can message her or anything like that and then basically she just asks you some personal information about yourself then the first question that she asked me this time was what have I been up to since I finished my first program I basically just told her that I had finished my final year of university I graduated and then since then I've been working full-time in food and beverage still so she was asking me then all about my job questions like what did I do where I was working like what was my sort of hours like did I have a favorite type of thing and then ask me what my manager would say about me which was a weird question I don't like talking about myself like that so I was like uh but yeah, it was great. And then moved on to Disney side of questions. So I was asked why I want to go back and do the program. I just explained that I graduated in international travel and tourism management. So I was very much wanting to go back out and work for the company to kickstart my career. Um, I feel that Disney give like a lot of really like strong training and they really set you up for coming back. I said that I feel like I could come back from Disney and go into any job and have such confidence to do it. So we moved on from that question on to what type of job, or, you know, to explain just what I did on podium. Was I a trainer? And what advice I would give to trainees? Because as she was saying, you know, we are alumni. We are going over to like as like a, kind of like a mentor. So um, she was asking like what kind of things we would, you know, give like advice on and things like that. So and when you move from being on podium into service what kind of advice you would give for that and I just said you know every table is going to be different you might be the same but every table is different and their wants and needs will differ so you should be able to adjust yourself to suit what they're looking like some people are wanting a lot of like interaction some aren't and you should just be able to like like sort of analyze each table and you know kind of like discover what they're wanting and sort of go with it so it all seemed to go well um as well as that we kind of just went into like my personal record card nothing major just you know anything that she had like questions about and what like you know i would do this time to like prevent any issues that like i might have experienced myself in my first program that was all fine as well asked me my availability and um, i was quite different from for months i'd been emailing her with like an exact time frame that i wanted to go with a lot of people it's quite open um i had like an exact date and you know in the interview it was made clear to me sort of like my arrival date from like the get-go like they had a plan for when i'll arrive um i asked for as close to june as possible and sue said that because it was already march like they had a date in july and that they were pretty much confident like you know that like i could have it there was somebody pulled out off the end of april but my interview was in march so it was about five weeks later and it just it just didn't really suit me to go out that soon she said that she would be in contact very shortly and um, she'll make a decision very quickly so i feel that as we were on the call you know she already knows exactly 
what's going on. So it took about five days, I think, maybe, and then I got the confirmation letter that I am starting July 15th, and it was all here in writing, and oh, such a relief, like, I can't even tell you. So yeah, other than that, I shall see you next week when I'll be packing. But if you do have any questions or anything like that, feel free to message me and I'll help as much as I can. Um, and good luck if you do end up with the Blue Jeans in the interview. As I said, it's very much just like a conversation. So super friendly the whole way through it and you're very much relaxed. It's I was kind of nervous going into it and it's it's actually really nice. Like I feel like I could have talked for much longer it was it was nice thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to stay up to date with my year away the next video will be me packing ready to go and the week after that i will be starting my travels long travels thank you so much bye